day and a half of uh, very insightful presentations and papers and also very stimulating discussions. I don't intend to summarize the proceedings of uh, the last uh, two days, uh, but what we intend to do is to um, publish uh, the papers and bring up a volume as we do with our conferences, so you have a chance to read in detail uh, papers that you've heard in the last couple of days. But the theme of the conference uh, is something that we are very interested to pursue. Um, and as we've heard from the paper presenters, uh, South and Southeast Asia, lots of very interesting, very core, critical economic, political, security developments happening, happening not only in the two regions but in the individual countries. And also, it is in this region, the larger Asia Pacific region or the Indo Pacific region, where we're going to see the engagement and the interactions of the major powers. Uh, India, China, US, and other Pacific states that's going to determine very much the landscape of the region and the world. So this is a theme that we are going to pursue um, in, uh, in ISS. And I just would like to take this opportunity to flag uh, three areas where we would like to invest uh, our efforts in. I think first is uh, the need to generate knowledge um, we've heard some very interesting presentations, but obviously we also know that uh, deeper analysis would need to be done for us to have a better understanding of the development in the region, but also of uh, development in specific countries in the region. At dinner last night, I was talking to Dr. Wang, and he said to me that in China, there are actually very few good scholars working on India. And likewise, uh, as we look around the region looking for scholars to interact with, people who know China, India, deeply, um, we do not find many of them. So I think the first task uh, that we need to do is to um, generate an agenda which will allow us to uh, do deep and sharp analysis and also to do individual studies. As uh, papers we heard yesterday on the individual countries in South and South Asia, we need to understand what's happening in those specific countries and then do comparative studies and be able to learn from each other. So that's, that's the first thing that we need to do. And then the second thing is, of course, we need to create platforms for the sharing of this information. And here we take on a very active publication or publishing agenda at ISAF. And we hope to have more of such conferences and symposia where we can bring together scholars, as you've heard in the last couple of days, to share their insights and their analysis uh, and the study of uh, development in the region and in the country. So this is something that we hope uh, we will do more of and through these platforms we will be able not just to sit and hear each other but to then engage in active collaborative research agendas and this is something that we are very keen to pursue with a range of partners. And then this leads me to my third point which is that uh, it is important I think now to develop uh, a network of think tanks and research institutes to generate what I think the Government General of, uh, General of Canada said just two days ago, the uh, diplomacy of knowledge, where if we are able to come together to share and study together some of the key developments that we've spoken about, I think this will be uh, an important step forward in developing not only an understanding but perhaps even useful policy for the region. And in this regard, uh, I want to share that in ISAT we are in the early stages of uh, creating a round table, an annual round table involving companies, think tanks and research institutes uh, from South Asia, so we will work with think tanks in India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh and elsewhere, as well as uh, in Southeast Asia, individual countries in Southeast Asia, and we hope to have um, an annual round table, we probably will start it off in Singapore and then we will move it around the two regions and hopefully that this will allow us a useful uh, platform and a network for us to uh, share and push forward our knowledge of the two regions and how they should interact or how they would interact with each other. So in this regard, I look forward to uh, working with our friends and partners and I look forward to uh, seeing you all.